Today is Wednesday, December 1st, first day of December. Hey, this is going to be a very, very short video because um, the kids are playing a review game today. Uh, we're doing lesson 3.3, plate motion and rock transformations. Um, I'm just going to skip the warm up for you because that has to do with the game that we're playing. And I just wanted to kind of explain very quickly what we're doing. You absolutely don't have to do anything here. This is just to kind of let you know what we did um, just to summarize. So I set up the room kind of similar to this. And it's um, a kinesthetic activity because the kids are all going to be up, walking around, and moving from station to station. And so at each one of my tables, I've got seven tables, and um, the tables will have alphabetical letters on them, and then they have like d different directions. The name of the table is like a different activity that occurs during rock transformations. So we've got weathering, melting, cooling, metamorphic process, subduction, uplift, and cementation. And so the kids will have a paper like this, and um, they're just gonna, they've got a dice, a dice, they have a die, one dice, one die, whatever. <laughs> and uh, they roll the dice, they roll the die. I'm really annoyed by that now. Anyway, they'll roll that, and then based on what they roll, they're gonna move back and forth across from station to station. The point of this game is to help them and you understand that any type of rock can be transformed to any other type of rock. And they just have to follow the, the rules, I guess, for that type of rock's formation. So in other words, if a, a rock is weathered, then um, they go through uh, cementation then that's gonna turn into sedimentary rock. If the rock is melted and then it cools, that goes to igneous rock, okay? Um, the interesting thing is when we get to uplift and subduction, so they could have melting rock that then is uplifted and then maybe weathered. And so instead of melting rock turning into, I mean, it would have to cool and turn into igneous rock, but then it can get weathered immediately, go through cementation, then it turns into sedimentary rock. So nothing really that you have to make up. I just wanted to share that with you. There are two things I need you to do for me today. I need you to write down the last two key concepts. So go to GoodNotes, get out your key concept graphic organizer. Key concept number 10 is uplift and subduction can expose rock formations to different energy sources which that which can transform them. So remember the different energy sources, we've got energy from the sun. So uplift would expose different rock formations to energy from the sun and subduction would expose different rock formations to energy from the earth's interior. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. You go ahead and write that one down. Okay, and the last one is key concept number 11. And this is, we've talked about this so many times over and over again, but this is just a good key concept for you to, to end the unit with. Any type of rock can transform into any type of rock because of plate motion. If we didn't have plate motion, if the plates didn't move, then the rocks would not be brought up through uplift or taken down through sublimation. And then they wouldn't be exposed to the different types of energy. So there would be no rock transformation if there were no plate motion. So that's a very important thing to remember. Go ahead and pause the video and write that one down. Okay, that is it. Short lesson for you guys today. Um, just to kind of give you a heads up what's going on on Thursday, tomorrow, uh, I am going to be out of the building. However, I will have a video that I'll put in for you. Um, we have our end of the unit test on Friday. So you're going to have a review packet. Uh, we also have a scientific argument that you need to work on. And um, so that'll be in the folder as well. Okay. All right, you guys take care and I'll talk to you later.